Hi, I'm Enchanting Nubianette. Welcome back. And if you're viewing my channel for the first time, welcome. Colby Williams, a 27-year-old mother from Georgia, tragically lost her life alongside her twin sons in a heartbreaking incident. Living in a trailer home, she and her one-month-old babies were transitioned when a massive tree fell through the roof of their bedroom during the severe storm. The storm, caused by Hurricane Helene, struck their area with high winds and heavy rains, uprooting trees and causing widespread destruction. And unfortunately, the fo falling tree landed directly on their room, causing the unaliving of the young mother and her infant instantly. According to her loved ones, Kobe Williams was a devoted mother filled with love for her newborn adorable sons who had just began their journey in life. And this saddens me so much knowing that this woman gave birth to two, not one, two healthy boys and now they're no longer here. Her family and friends remembered her as a bright and caring individual with a strong passion for motherhood. And this tragic event, everyone, devastated the community, even more so than the damages, just losing this family. And they mourned the loss of the mother and her two babies in such a cruel accident. Now, local authorities and emergency services responded to the scene as quickly as they could, from what I hear. But they were unable to save the family, and rescue teams worked tirelessly to clear the debris and ensure that no one else in the area was at risk due to the storm damage. This incident drew attention to the dangers that mobile home residents face during severe storms like this because the homes are even more vulnerable, as you know, to damage from falling trees, high winds, and everything else during a storm, a hurricane specifically. Efforts were made by community organizations to provide shelter for other families who were displaced by the storm. While many came together to support Kobe's grieving family, offering prayers, assistance, and emotional support, and as the storm passed and the community began to rebuild, the memory of Kobe Williams and her two young sons became a powerful symbol of lives lost during Hurricane Helene, reminding everyone of the fragility of life and the importance of community support during times of tragedy. Kobe's family, they're brokenhearted. They recalled her dreams of providing a better life for her sons. And these dreams, as we know, were tragically cut short. Local officials face growing pressure to provide answers about why more wasn't done to pr protect residents. While storm survivors united to demand improvement for storm-prone areas. Now, the loss of Kobe and her twins continues to be a huge reminder of the risk people face in extreme weather conditions. And this one even more so is caused by climate change. And as we all know, sadly, Hurricane Helene has done a ton of damage in various states and towns in Georgia, Tennessee, Virginia, North and South Carolina, and Florida. The experience of residents in these states are immensely traumatizing, losing their loved ones, not knowing where their neighbors are, not having a sufficient amount of food, nor fresh water. Many don't have their homes and they're not having a normal way of life anymore living in a shelter or if they're living with family. Well, that is a better option. And as we speak, and as I speak right now, Florida specifically, Tampa, and nearby areas will be hit by Hurricane Milton, which is a Category 5, which will be even late tonight or early, early Thursday morning. So it's devastation on top of devastation. 
a vast amount of people aren't able to even leave their homes right now. Many um, were not able to afford the high price of flights, um, the gas prices. They weren't able to even get gas because the lines were so long and many were trapped on highways. So I hope that everyone who is still in Florida have and are taking heed to the warnings. And everyone, prayers up. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks a million and stay safe wherever you are, especially if you're in the region of Hurricane Milton and even Hurricane Helene.